Hi everyone, I'm coming to you live from Little John's Family Hairstyling. This is Ernie Barrio sitting next to me. He has an amazing and awesome Christian testimonial story of what the Lord has done for him. And, uh, well, here he is, Ernie Barrios. Yeah, yeah, he really, really pumped me up. Uh, and I, don't, I myself don't think it's that amazing, but you know, I, I would first <laughs> no. like to start off just by saying praise God for bringing this gentleman into my life. Uh, we've owned our own salon for many, many years, and uh, this salon here that uh, we've always wanted to work here, and we've got the opportunity to, to do it after the year I've had uh, battling cancer and stuff. But so first of all, thank you, Lord, for bringing Donnie into my life. And second of all, the Lord has really blessed us. I mean, this year has been one of the worst years of <laughs> my wife and I's life. Uh, I've had to battle uh, cancer, stomach cancer, where I've had my stomach totally removed, which now, the good news is uh, I went in for my first six-month uh, PET scan, and uh, I'm in uh, total remission. So that is a total blessing. I mean, you can't believe how happy I was about that, where the whole family was. And then uh, during the chemo, which was probably one of the most worst experiences that I've ever experienced, uh, we developed um, uh, liver problems, which caused me to get uh, uh, alcoholic liver disease. And I, I don't even drink, but I have a real fatty tissue, and it caused uh, cirrhosis of the liver. Well, now my liver doesn't produce the proper purifying of the blood in order to keep it uh, keep me healthy. So. What happened is uh, the blood was backing up into my liver because of the cirrhosis and it caused it to burst and I almost bled to death. So they had to do a procedure called the TIPS procedure where they put in a shunt in my liver uh, and now the blood go rushes so fast, now it's not uh, purifying the blood and it's causing a lot of uh, ammonia and toxins in my body. and. Uh, there I had to uh, go into the hospital because of the toxins and ammonia it caused me not to be able to know who I was, who my family was, and the kids. Oh, I didn't boy. know. I didn't know anything. That's I mean, terrible, Ernie. Terrible, terrible. But the Lord brought me through that, through the doctors and through the med medicines, and, and mainly it was so funny because the doctor was totally amazed how I recovered from that. And every time he'd say that, I'm just shocked. I'm just shocked. I don't know what happened. There must have been a mistake. And I kept telling him, I, kept telling him, I said, you ever heard of prayer? Hallelujah. Yeah, ever heard of prayer? And he just kind of ignored me. But towards the end there, and he said, well, somebody loves you. So, Amen. And I, I attribute it to all the prayers uh, that I've received from all my uh, friends and, and clients and different people that come in from other churches. They put me on their prayer list and stuff. But anyway, that was a real praise. The Lord got me through that. So he got me through stomach cancer got me through this liver thing this last year and lo and behold when I went to get the results for the PET scan uh, a week ago two, he mentioned we were so happy to hear about the, the results or the, the, the remission that I was in he didn't mention anything about kidney stones two days later I start passing kidney stones so I've been dealing with that in fact this morning I passed one this morning and uh, I haven't had any pain today, but uh, the first two days were, oh, I don't know if anybody's ever had kidney stones. Donnie, you don't want to get kidney stones. No, thank you very much. No, you don't want to get kidney stones. But I, that was very painful. But I had uh, two days of pain, but uh, for the last four days, I've been pain-free. Today, I passed one, not one bit of pain. So oh, yeah. I can just praise God that uh, with there's the, that it's, that's the only reason that I get I've got through this. So this has been a really hard year, but through all this, I've learned uh, to get closer to God. Uh, I get up uh, in the mornings or you know, almost every night. It's amazing how that works. Get up and do my devotions and read the Word and and really gotten closer and closer and closer. And I, I owe it all to the Lord. So. It's it's that's one good thing out of all this. It's really brought me a lot closer to him, knowing I have to rely more on him and not so much myself. So, yeah, and I would continue. I would still want ask my my friends and stuff to to continue to pray because I'm still not a, hmm. out of the out of the woods yet. Two, we're going to be on vacation for two weeks. I mean, in in two weeks to Hawaii, and I'm kind of nervous about that, but uh, I think we'll be fine. So anyway. Well, That's Ernie, you got my prayers. You know that. And everybody is praying for you. And sometimes, you know, in my life, Ernie, what's going on is um, 
sometimes I just have to have faith. You know, I forget about having my faith, my trust in God, my faith in God to do the impossible or do what I want or do what I need. I, I mean, I, anyway, so that's what I, yeah, sometimes, yeah. sometimes we just got to have faith, you know, because our faith in what Jesus can do or is, is the blessing. It's, I, I don't know how to explain it, but anyways, brother, I'm so glad you're okay now for the most part. You've gotten through three big hoops, like you said, and, um, Gosh, I just uh, owe it all to the Lord. Yeah, yeah, that's 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 totally the truth. I mean, you know, when we get to the end of ourselves, is the beginning of God. So we that's, have that's to what your really, wife. That's what your wife, Kat, Kathy, yeah, said when yeah. I interviewed her. Really, Ernie. Really, oh, really? She said that. She said yeah, the I don't same think thing. I ever saw her. You guys are one. Yeah, that's that's. True. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, but he's been good, good to me. It's been a rough year, but uh, we're going to get through this, and I know I'm going to. Hopefully, have have plenty of plenty more uh, good, healthy years. It's 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 so sad to see so many uh, people suffering with this with this terrible disease. So I've met a lot, a lot of nice uh, people that are really hurting, and, and uh, we continue to pray. In fact, we do fundraisers now for a lot of the children at Miller's uh, Hospital. Children's Hospital. Yeah. 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 To, to raise uh, money and we we're giving them uh, stuffed animals this year for Christmas, all the kids. That, Aww. You know, so that's kind of cool to do that, to see that, their faces, the, 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 the smiles on their faces. So. Yeah. yeah. It's really nice. Yeah. yeah. It's, it, nobody's immune from this. I mean, it, it affects so many different people. I, mean, I go into the infusion center and I see little little ladies just as frail and men and yeah, just I as know. my brother my brother in law Albert Perez died of cancer at thirty four and left oh, behind yeah. three see? children. See what I mean? And then others strong like <sighs> boom, you know. I mean, uh, come down with this and it's just, it's, it's terrible, terrible disease. Yeah. So. All right, well tell every We'll tell every, say a quick prayer for everybody for, who has cancer, Ernie, since you've gone through it. Let's, let's bow our heads and mm -hmm. just say a prayer for everyone, okay? Yes, okay. Thank you. Oh, our Heavenly Father, we come before you now, Lord, just knowing that you are the great physician, Lord. And, you know, when uh, you, when two or three or more are gathered in your name, that you, we know yes, that Jesus. you're with us, you're in our midst. And uh, we, right now, I would just lift up all these poor, hurting people, Lord, that... Uh, you'd wrap your healing arms around them and have them to feel the peace that you were there and that uh, through you that they can get healed. Uh, it's just it's just so hard to, to explain, but uh, we just know that you will, you know, we just have to follow your will. That's what I ask for, that you would just help me to, to understand and to accept your will, Lord. So, Please continue to bless these people. Keep them. Uh, try to keep, well, help help them to get healthy, Lord. Uh, yes. Lord. It, it's. A, I, I can't. I can't even think of the words. It's, it's just terrible. Just every time I think about it, it, just makes me, you know, get tear teary eyed, knowing how the pain and suffering that they go through, and the families, the caregivers, they're the ones that have to see you would have to see them uh, go through this. So, Lord, bless them all. Continue to bless them, and especially this, through this holiday season, that we we forget what the true meaning of, of Christmas really is, Lord, and help us to remember that you are the reason for this whole season. So, in your holy, precious name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Thank you, Bob. Yeah, thank you. That thank you. Good. Took a while to get it in, but we got it in. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I wasn't avoiding you. I just. <laughs> it's just been a rough Yeah, I've been movie. after Ernie for three weeks to get a video. But, um, uh, I'd see Donnie and I'd run out the back door. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Good night. See, we'll, Take care. We'll, see, we'll see everybody on C3 soon. Take, Take care. Bye-bye. Take care.